Hello everybody, I am the Craftacular Creator and today I am sharing a process video for an underwater celebration or celebration to be more accurate. This card has everything a mermaid needs to celebrate a birthday, even a king crab coming in with a card in an envelope. I share how to build a scene and use background eyes to create an underwater effect. Before I begin, I would like to ask you to get clicky for Vicky. This is my own catchy way of asking you to like, share, comment and subscribe. For this card I used Mermaid For You, Christmas Fishes, How You Been Seashell Add-On, Just Add Glitter, Scooting By, Life Is Good, Elfie Selfie, Some Mermaid Cardstock, A Shimmery Piece Of Blue Paper That I Had In My Stash and the Stitched Ripple Backdrop Die. My apologies for the slight blur throughout this video. As you will see, there are many images to colour for this video and due to the blur and zooming in, some of the caps are not visible in the shot. I kept it in, but please feel free to skip ahead to the main scene building chapter. I wanted to add in some rays coming in from the top right corner of the card. I used a long fawn sun ray backdrop, cutting that pretty shimmery blue paper. I trimmed it down so that just three rays would be visible so as to not take over the ripple backdrop. I tucked the rays underneath the craft cardstock seabed, cut down with a stitched hillside border. The edges were a little rough, so I die cut a stitched frame in peacock cardstock to hide it. I attached this using liquid glue. I started to build my scene, making sure that my images covered the rough edges of the rays. I attached them using foam pads and liquid glue. The scene comes together really easily, with each mermaid holding something. I love using the rocks, tiny shells and starfish and coral to fill in the spaces. The crab scuttling along the bottom of the card was my favourite part. Be sure to carry on watching to see what else I add to him. I 
I felt that such a busy card only required a subtle sentiment stamped directly onto the card. I used a misty to make sure I could double stamp if I needed to. Speaking of sentiments, due to the dreaded blur once more, the sentiments that are stamped into each sp speech bubble from all the speech bubble stamp set were also blurry, but they read make a wish, happy birthday and show yeah. I add adhesive pearls to the tiaras for a little added extra. This was a little fiddly. And of course we needed some sparkle. So for a change I used stickles in stardust for many of the images. Finally, I wanted to make more of a feature of that little crabby guy at the bottom, so I gave him a crown and some googly eyes. Here we have a much clearer shot of the card. I am very happy with the scene building here, even if I was a little bit disappointed with the amount of blur in the video. Better luck next time. This card was inspired by episode 205 of Craft Roulette, a card that celebrates the fourth birthday of this fun show. This card has a crab holding an envelope and wearing a crown. Mermaids would definitely have a party with this colour palette and the rays coming down from the top right are the three strips of paper. With mention of craft roulette and parameters, I have included a slide of what it's all about and hope, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Craft Roulette YouTube channel. It is so much fun. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to get clicky for Vicky. It would mean the world to me. Ta-ta for now everyone. Take care and I will be back soon.